Hi everyone, my name is Deanna and welcome to my channel and um, if you're not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button because I make tons of videos sharing my life, I do daily vlogs, I do hauls, I do tours, I do home decor and sit down videos. Um, so today I want to talk about some really hard news that I got yesterday. So bear with me, I got it yesterday. So some of the things I'm gonna be reading from um, just pretty much it is called a evaluation assessment report. And um, this is very confidential, so I can't show you the the paperwork but I'm just going to read some of it because I have like the worst memory and anyway I thought I would <clears throat> share this with you guys for the purpose of seeing if anybody else's child is going through this and maybe you can give me some suggestions or maybe I'll even help you notice something in your child and then you can get help for them because honestly I didn't notice this with Micah um I did, but I just, I guess I shrugged it off and I thought it was normal. Just normal toddler behavior. Anyway, so I'm just going to get right into this. Micah is four and a half years old. He's a boy. And <clears throat> he is, <laughs> he's a boy. <laughs> but yeah, obviously. Um, he is in pre-K and he um, was in speech therapy, which was recommended by um, his doctor. And he did great with that. He's getting reevaluated to see if he still needs that. But the hard thing that I learned also from his observation, he had a classroom observation and um, standardized testing. So he was evaluated at his preschool. And <clears throat> anyway, he is also showing delays with his fine motor skills, his grasp, and it says postural control for gross motor skills. He has difficulty sitting up in a circle, like circle time, and he needs to frequently lean and he needs to roll over to get up from the floor. So <clears throat> the clinical observation with that is that he is showing decreased trunk strength. So his posture at the table, um, for like drawing, writing, um, cutting, using scissors, you know, cutting, and um, other functional play, it says. And he also fatigues easier. Um, just a little backstory. Um, Micah has always, uh, that I've noticed, had trouble sitting up at the table to do activities such as drawing and writing. I saw the delay in the drawing and writing. Um, at two and a half years old, I started to really get into, let's learn some letters, let's write your name, let's write some shapes, you know, let's just start writing and coloring. Um, and he just, every time he would scream, and every time I would try to help him, it would just be worse. And he would just cry and throw it on the floor and he hated it. He just, he, he struggled, I think, obviously. <laughs> he struggled and um, I, I remember trying it and just getting so upset and I did not think to go and talk to the doctor about it or even the speech therapist or anybody at this place that I'm getting help from. I just really didn't think of it because by that time <clears throat> he had already um, made some progress because by the time he got speech therapy it was four. So he had made some progress because I didn't give up. I kept working with him. I remember those hard times and I remember saying to my husband Michael you know I really need help getting him to draw write his name just color anything like he has really struggling with it I really need your help and he never got to it because he works third shift he did at the time he works first now and um, so honestly it might have just slipped his mind and probably mine too at the time but Anyway, yeah, um, also another thing is his father has MS, multiple sclerosis, and my mom actually passed away from muscular dystrophy, so muscle weakness 
is hard news for me because of those diseases in my family and I'm very scared right now and I could not sleep last night and I pretty much cried my eyes out and I could not even sleep until after 4 in the morning so that means I got like an hour of sleep because I got up at 6 30 um it was a tough night I just I'm worried um his father's actually in the hospital right now getting his first dose of Jelenia for his MS which is scary too um so anyway yeah that's not what this video is about so I'm just gonna say that <clears throat> it says that he <clears throat> fatigues easier and needs breaks between longer sitting work activities that require more upper body strength like climbing were harder for him the teacher reports that sitting at circle is still hard for him Although he has improved. He did not show. So. Hold on. He frequently leans when needing to use both hands. Such as. For fine motor tasks. He has a harder time sitting up. At the table. And he has a hard time sitting up on the floor. Which I have noticed you know like he's always laying on the floor and he the way that he gets up <clears throat> is I guess is a sign of weakness I guess because the way he does it I don't know so yeah he says at one point he laid there rolling over on his back but did not make any effort to get up he rolled over to his side and pushed himself up to stand using hands and feet but the teacher had to you know go over to him and ask him if he needed some help <clears throat> micah, micah frequently leaned into the table for added support or worked on the table holding the materials in his hands. This impacted him with cutting as well as lacing card and buttons. Fatigue was noted with the cutting and he worked closer to his body. Um, and that is, you know, worrisome, I guess. Um, he works across the, t the paper to copy the design. So he works across, I guess, or maybe, I don't know, it says it's an, another indicator of trunk core weakness. And <clears throat> I just have one more. It says Micah would benefit from strengthening activities to improve overall, overall trunk core strength. Um, so honestly, I guess the diagnosis is the um, trunk strength is weak and his fine motor grasp is weak and um that's that's tough you know uh but they did mention he's improving which is great and they also gave me this big huge piece packet that has um <clears throat> information for me to help him develop his motor skills there's lots of hand skills it says to pick up a leaf and twirl it by its stem raking digging there's you know tweezers or tongs he has games like that but he doesn't like the tongs um hand eye coordination skills there's also the um trunk strengthening activities that are in here it said like yoga and karate and you know that that is probably not going to be easy for me to get him to do <laughs> um so yeah pretty much i just got like a paper on the trunk muscles and <clears throat> so it says what are trunk muscles and they are just muscles of the body that support the stomach, neck, and back, and abdominals and spinal extensors. And it says, why are they important? Um, it may be harder for him to sit up or stand up straight. Sit up straight. A difficulty to complete desk work or school work in home. Um... How can I help? 
So it says, for indoor time, practice animal walks. Move like a bear or a crab or wheelbarrow walking. Try learning yoga. Um, like I said, it says karate, carrying books. It says, provide verbal cues for the child to sit with feet on the floor and hips and knees at 90 degree angle. I'm not really sure how to do that, but I'll try to figure it out. Hmm. Perhaps try a slant board or a small easel at the top of the desk. It'll help him maintain a more upright posture. Anyway, I thought I'd show you a picture of Micah just because he's adorable. This is what he looks like. If you guys don't already know. He's darn cute. And, um, yeah. So, I thought I'd share that with you. Um, in my vlog, I did mention he has our time, you know, writing his name. And he has a hard time sitting for long periods of times. And I'm just starting to, to work on him with these things. And right now, I have to get ready for a conference call to talk about this. Um, and see what they say. So I might add that to the end of the video, let's see what they say, or I might just leave this as is. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. So one other thing I thought I'd mention is, um, so I mentioned, you know, there's diseases, muscle diseases in my family, and so I am thinking about getting him tested for muscular dystrophy and multiple sclerosis. Um, I might wait until I talk to the doctor. Maybe they can give me a referral. I don't know, but so yeah, I'm still waiting on my conference call, and um, I might add that in the end. So, all right, so I just got done with the conference call that I had about Micah and a couple of things that they mentioned I didn't mention in the um well maybe they did but you know the the paperwork that they sent me in the mail but I think um one of the main things is that he is making a lot of progress and um he could benefit from some occupational therapy, which I'm going to be needing to do at a private facility because um, he doesn't qualify for it at school. So anyway, they mentioned his balance and his core strength um, are not as well. He also trips a lot. He has to use a broken crayon instead of a full length crayon to color. Um, so he holds it because he has to hold it. And it's just, it just helps him to grasp it a little bit better because he sort of scrunches his hand, I think. I don't know. <clears throat> but um, he's very fatigued and I guess he did not use his hands to catch himself when he falls. And that is concerning because um, he has weak hand muscles. So I think that's probably why he didn't use his hands. I don't I don't know, but that's, that's a concern because he could really hurt himself. Like he could hit his head. Um... He's doing a little bit better on self-help. He scored like a 92, which is really, really good. The average is 85, so that that's really, really good. Um, he can put on his jacket himself. He can go potty himself, wash his hands after potty, and he has some core weakness. Sorry, I'm getting comfortable. Um, and he, he does not need any more speech help, which is awesome. He scored a 90 on speech. I'm going to need to get a referral from his doctor. Um, to get him occupational therapy. Um, he has upper body weakness. He scored a 70 on that and the average um, norm, like um, a normal is 85 and up. He had a 1% for grasp, which is something that I knew was, uh, he struggled with majorly. Um, he's very smart, you know, he can write his name. He can write letters other letters and he knows his shapes and um, he can draw some shapes but it's just a matter of he can't do it very long like he um, needs a lot of breaks he scored a 74 on coordination like I said 85 is the norm so I'm definitely going to be contacting his pediatrician and just going over my concerns our family history and just seeing if um, I can get a referral and 
maybe he'd have to take a day out of preschool to um, because he goes full day to get some occupational therapy and I think that's gonna be good you know I'm gonna be working with them privately and figuring out um, what I can do to help him at home um, but he is doing very well in school and they absolutely love him there and I'm just so happy about that so yeah